Welcome to another exciting day at Shortridge Magnet High School for Law and Public Policy. I like the fact that Shortridge is a very unique school. I get to come here and be with the Law Enforcement Academy. Through here I've branched out through multiple cadet programs. Shortridge means a lot to me. It means that I can express myself in a way that I won't get to express it in other schools. Um, it also means that I can get education without worrying about violence in the school and other things like that. My favorite part about Shore Ridge is, is the teachers. Um, they're, they, we, can, we know that they care about us because we, we see it through their actions. The articulate skill of public speaking goes hand in hand with the school's overarching emphasis on law and public policy. Mr. Colby is a very abnormal teacher. My job's easier than everybody else's because I don't teach math or science like the nerd stuff. Um, I just have to get them to talk in front of each other, um, which, which is challenging, don't get me wrong. He makes everything we learn interesting and entertaining. He makes everything just fun to learn. Well, like before I took speech, like I was like really quiet and like uh, I was nervous in, on, like, on stage, like in front of a bunch of people, but that like, that helped me talk more. It gives probably more of a chance of expression than any other class. Shortridge's deep-rooted emphasis on law and public policy provides its students with the opportunity to get up close and personal with the judicial process. A student gets assigned a, um, well, a couple of defense lawyers for them, which is usually one of our sophomores or I. Um, so we have a talk with them, set up our case. If a student is um, up for expulsion or alternative placement, they then come to court and we handle their cases. I'm a senior defense attorney, attorney so I defend um, the family and the student and then we have senior prosecutors and then we have um, beginning prosecutors. I tend to focus more on the public policy side um, more so than the law side because the year after they take my class, they take a street law class. It gave me an outlook on the real courtroom process. It showed me the different ways of how trials would go and how the outcome. Another interesting aspect of Shortridge is the fact that all students are educated in a broad range of foreign languages. Our uh, foreign language program is pretty unique here in the fact that our students take Spanish, Chinese, and Latin. Right now I'm studying Latin and Chinese, my second year of both. Latin has already helped me um, in life. Even when I was taking the PSAT and they were asking me, like I was supposed to find, identify the word and like the meaning of the word, um, I could apply like Latin stems and stuff and it would help me like conjugate that word and figure out what the word meant. Um, Chinese, I guess, it just, I guess Chinese just helped me like, um, see more of the world and like see how our, my language differs from Chinese. Students like Asian languages and, and they like Asian cultures so um, that's the reason they like taking Chinese courses here. I also speak a little bit Japanese and some of the Chinese languages too. I teach Latin and so understanding the importance of language is not always uh, natural for kids because they don't see Latin as as something that is particularly useful or practical. But after they've been in it a while, most of them seem to understand that it is really connected to the way they speak and how it can help them speak better. It makes them more aware of how to speak clearly and precisely and I think that's very much what dealing with law effectively is about. In addition to its diverse curriculum, Shortridge is revolutionary in the way that it approaches the ever-changing media culture. The mass media class does the morning announcements every day. Um, they produce uh, PSAs for the school. They produce commercials for groups that um, right now we're having yearbook sales. And so we've been having students produce commercials for the yearbook to help sell yearbooks. Um, if teachers have something special they want to do work on, kids do videos for that. So it's very, um, it's, it's very client driven in many ways and I don't think most mass media programs 
um, approach it that way. Plus, we're trying to give them experience so that when they do get to college, that they'll be able to hit the ground running, so to speak. Our media class is better. It, gets, it lets us walk outside of classrooms and get to go interview other people and make videos and show our creativity. I'm filming uh, interviews. Uh, right now I'm in the middle of uh, three projects. Um, I'm doing a recycling video for a competition. I'm working on uh, how superhero uh, oaths and catchphrases can uh, be applied to regular school life. My favorite part is making the video and showing it to everyone. The history of Shortridge has formed it into the dynamic school that it is today. The impact of Shortridge's history is huge for these students. I mean, we've been around as a school for nearly 150 years in one form or another, and the alumni are very, very proud of that fact. Um, even today, I had a gentleman call me and wanted to track down his parents who met here as students in the 1920s. Um, the alumni are very connected. We receive generous donations from the alumni. Uh, we, uh, have a, uh, we had a writing contest that was sponsored by Kurt Vonnegut's family. Um, so having the, the alumni as entrenched in our school as they are gives these students a leg up. I mean, we're able to get them more scholarships. We're able to get them more funding. There are a lot of um, fam famous people who graduate from here. Uh, I think the students here, they can be the next famous person. Here at Shortridge, the students have many opportunities in extracurricular activities. Some of these include track, basketball, improvisational theater, band, and many more. I think that like, this school is what you make of it. If you want something done in the school, you just do what you're supposed to do and then go to Mr. Cosby and he'll pretty much play for you. So. Georgia means the world to me. If anything happened to it, I'd go crazy. Um, I don't want to leave this school. I wish this was my college. Um, it, it's just family. For, it's just home. The people here are like family. It's Georgia to me is like a place to go if you're just trying to learn, but you're trying to have fun at the same time and point. I can't really describe that. It's, I like the whole school, you know. This actually is, it makes me glad to be at school. You know, when we had that week out for the blizzard storm, I wanted to walk through the snow just to be here. Well, I think, like, coming here has just opened up a lot of doors for me, so I think that I, this has just been, like, a really important part of my life. I like everything about Shortridge. I just think of the home, like my second home, well actually my first home. I just think about all the friends that I've made um, through these years and I have two more years left so just all the different experiences I'm going to get in the next two years and I guess exposure because Shortridge has exposed me to so many things and I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm.